Hello everyone, great to see you here again. Welcome back to Craft Aquatic, I'm Matt G. If you stick with me today, we are going to diverge from the topic of reef keeping to talk about something a little different but equally fascinating. Now most of us who keep reef aquariums really strive to emphasize the fluorescing colors of our coral through proper nutrient balance, consistent husbandry, proper flow, locked in water parameters, well implemented lighting, uh, really a myriad of factors. Clearly it can be a lot of work and require a decent amount of technology to accomplish. So what if I were to tell you that with one plug, you could experience equally impressive fluorescence, color, and texture from something you could readily collect from nature and keep in a beautiful display in your home? Curious? Stick around and I'll show you. So if you're anything like me, you're very likely to have not only a reef aquarium or two in your home, but some nice house plants, maybe a terrarium, perhaps some bits of nature you've collected to display. Well, this is yet another one of nature's wonders. What you are seeing here are rocks, minerals, and gemstones that fluoresce under shortwave UV light. There's no one clear conclusion, at least yet, as to why they do this, but for example, some of the rocks you'll find in nature that produce the most intense fluorescence are willemite, calcite, fluorite, some quartz, sodalite, barite, aragonite, um, and for gemstones, ruby and highlight put out quite an intense glow. I think one of the most incredible things about fluorescing rocks and minerals is that they can go from looking really just like ordinary stones to the intense bright colors that you experience when you place them under short and long wave UV light. So as you can see, all these rocks are placed on little shelves and I'll talk about the cabinet a bit later in the video but here I just wanted to show you some of the the textures without the UV light uh, bringing out the fluorescence in the rocks because most of them were chosen not only for the beauty when they are fluorescing but the way they look just as is under natural light Clearly one of the most fascinating aspects of having a fluorescent rock cabinet like this is seeing them under natural light versus UV. Um, the idea that something could be just so bland and plain and then pop, bring out all these gorgeous colors that seemingly didn't even exist before. At least with coral, you get to see some pigment in the tissue of the coral. And then when you expose them to blue LEDs in a certain range, it brings out their fluorescence. But these rocks are just look like, for the most part, plain stones until you expose them to a quality shortwave UV light. Much like in reef keeping, the UV light really does need to be of a high quality. And there are only a few companies at this point that produce the proper type of lighting uh, for a cabinet like this. And the one that I chose to go with was by Ingenious Designs. It's the 35 watt Black Widow shortwave UV light. Um, it's around $300 and it has a UV filter on the bottom to filter out any visible light that will distract from the fluorescence on the actual rocks and minerals themselves. I'm going to put a link to the Ingenious Designs website below. They make some amazing fixtures. This is no exception. Look at how it brings out the fluorescence in these rocks and minerals. Even with all the sunlight coming into this room, no problem. The back of the fixture has a fan, so I cut out an area in the back of this cigar cabinet. The cigar cabinet is something I purchased. It's a cedar cigar cabinet that I purchased from a neighbor, and it's worked out really well. I, we don't have giant um, pieces of rock and mineral for this, so the, li the little cabinet works nice. We can hang it up on the wall, kind of like a clock, and it hangs next to our rocks and mineral cabinet in the dining room looks really nice the lights come on at night put these little shelves in just uh, grab some scrap wood put some L brackets in there made sure everything was painted black 
It definitely helps to not distract from the fluorescing rocks and minerals. The glass door is nice. A lot of times I'll just leave it open because there is a little sort of opaque glow that comes off the glass. And I talked to the people at the Ingenious Designs website and they said that if I flip this piece of glass, that might change. But we actually kind of like the spookiness of the glow, so we've kept it that way on purpose. So at this point, you may be wondering, where do I find glowing rocks and minerals? Well, the answer is pretty much anywhere. You can get them at rock and mineral shows, or you can head out into your backyard or the woods and with a nice portable short or long wave UV light, which I'll show you in a second here, and go searching for yourself. There are also some mines in New Jersey that are accessible, Sterling Hill and Franklin Mine. But if you are going to head out and go searching, hunting yourself, you're going to want a quality portable light. And here are two that definitely fit the bill. Up first, we have the UV Tools 11 watt short wave UV lamp powered by three D cells, but I also put in myself this 4.5 watt DC option for hanging in a cabinet if I choose to do so. The Caution UV light uh, sticker here, something you want to pay attention to. You never want to look straight into a UV light. It will burn your retinas and it will damage your skin. So always protect yourself from direct view. In addition, there's this LED on the front. It's basically a low-powered black light. I'll show you what this can do versus the high-powered options in some comparisons in a little bit. Here we have a very popular light for seeking out glow rocks and minerals, the Convoy S2 Plus UV 365 nanometer Nishia LED flashlight. It uses an 18650 rechargeable lithium battery and a custom ZWB2 20.5 millimeter UV bandpass filter to accomplish amazing fluorescence. So worth mentioning now that I have not been paid to endorse any of these products, even though I do love them all, here we have the Convoy S2 Plus UV 365 nanometer LED flashlight. It is a long wave flashlight, so it's not going to bring out quite all the color that a short wave does, but even in the daylight there you could see that it was lighting up these rocks. People love this thing because you can be pretty far away and just kind of spray it around and notice glow in rocks that maybe aren't exactly right next to you versus the 11 watt uh, shortwave option that I'm going to bring up here in a second. This is the UV tools light and this is great because it is a true shortwave portable UV but it's a little lower power than the display lamp so you have to be right down next to what you're looking for to really light it up but once you are it really does bring out the richness and the color in the fluorescent rocks and minerals that you are searching for. So it's a great option for that. And for comparison's sake, we just flipped on the 35 watt uh, Black Widow LED lamp by Ingenious Designs, and you can see that it's just an incredible light. It does what it's supposed to do. It really brings out the color in all of your rocks and minerals, and it's gonna be a great cabinet light. Um, whatever you buy from that company or any high-powered LED with a proper filter. And here, just to show you for comparison's sake, the black light on the end of the UV Tools light, not really bringing out fluorescence. It's the purple from the black light itself seems to be more uh, reflecting off of the rocks and you see color, but it's the purple of the light. So not sure what that's going to be good for out in the field, but who knows? There might be some rocks and minerals that it brings out fluorescence in. So one of the reasons I'm emphasizing the quality UV options that I just did is because you will see all over the web, Amazon, eBay, anywhere you look, that they, these lights are all over the place and most of them are just handheld black lights that will do essentially what the end of the UV tools light does, which is emit purplish black light type light onto the rock and light them up thusly without bringing any of the fluorescence or phosphorescence out in the rocks and minerals. So beware when you're shopping for this stuff. Overall, having this additional slice of what nature has to offer in our home has been very enjoyable for our family. It's a nice addendum to reef keeping, especially when having a particularly hard week with the tank. I can sit back, relax, and enjoy our natural display of rocks, which requires no maintenance, does not fail due to mistakes or neglect, but is still visually inspiring, and a real attention grabber when you have visitors and the main display is full of algae. 
This is not my main area of expertise, so I'm going to put some links to some good resources below, along with some reputable light manufacturers, so you know where to go if you want to start something like this for yourself and family. With this type of hobby, you can be as creative or uh, simple as you want to be, just throwing rocks in a box with a light to check out once in a while, or coming up with some inspiring design for a cabinet like you would do with your reef. Hopefully this video gives you an excuse to get out a little, have some fun with your family and friends, and collect something neat. I hope you liked this video. Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate you checking it out, and I'll see you next time.